Three, four. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? You know what I mean, how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm good, coach. If you need us, let me know. Yes, sir. All right? Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you, boy. Keep mm -hmm. balling, man. Appreciate keep it. Keep on. Salute, salute. Now, Namir Robinson is officially getting uh, his father in an emotional state, as you guys know. That is Nate Robinson, the dunk contest champion. A lot of you guys know him from a past NBA guy and done some great things in his lifetime at the sport of the NBA. You know, he played football as well in college, and I love to see these type of things when retaining these type of players. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm going to ask you guys to go down right now and hit that like button for Nate Robinson, who is battling different obstacles in life, you know, health wise etc you guys love to see people with these type of stories that you know his son has went out to play for coach prime which is his childhood idol he spoke on a few of these things in an emotional message and i'm gonna give it to you guys right here i'm actually I'm gonna give you guys a clip at the end of nate robinson and just the different things that he's facing in life so to see his son overcome a lot of great things and be able to be uh, looked at in a positive light by his childhood role model it's a great thing in this regard now you guys can see with this emotional message right here nate robinson who is in tune with life right now and appreciating all the little things let it be known this brings tears to my eye or bring tears of joy watching my son and my favorite football player share a moment thanks coach prime for helping turn my baby boy into a man slash dog now that's the video clip that i showed you guys from well off media again that's what nate robinson had to say as pertaining his son he looked at coach prime and praised him for helping turning his son into a man slash dog and that's one thing that we love about coach prime is it's a lot more than football he really really trying to teach these young men how to be great young men this clip at the end is owned by a podcast and they were no i'm sorry nate robinson was on i want to give you guys a little bit of his history or things that he's battling right now as he's on dialysis and different things so to see his son doing great things i know he loved to see it and i personally love to see him at least having that moment as he continued to fight for his health to continue to grow etc again he said brings tears um to my eyes of joy watching my son and my favorite football player share a moment thanks coach prime for helping turn my baby boy and to a man slash dog and i'm pretty sure that's what coach prime was saying when he was saying no but are you all right because he understand the things that his father in namir is facing right now in nate robinson he understand the things that this you know this son is still continuing to grind while having a love for your father you're away from home it's things like that about coach prime that shows you the man that he is etc i'm gonna give you guys the clip so you guys can have a reference point as to why coach prime in my opinion was asking him is he okay and different things of that sort Three, four. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? You know what I mean. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm good, coach. If you need us, let me know. Yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you, boy. Keep mm -hmm. balling, man. Appreciate keep it. Keep on. And slow me down a little bit to 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 see life as what it is. Yeah. Because I go to dialysis three days a week, right? And in the beginning, I felt sorry for myself, and I felt bad. Like, damn, Nate, like. You've done so much, so much cool shit in the world, and you're here right now. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, and then slowly, me getting to know people that are dialysis, and I see people, and some people I don't even talk to, but I see them every day. And there's a lady that comes in with her son. Her son stays there with her. She's blind, and she's on dialysis. Like I told myself, how do I? How am I gonna complain about this shit? She can't even see. You know, you just gotta, you gotta, you just gotta change the way you think, man. Because I was, I think I was feeling sicker when I was thinking about being sick. And so now that I'm, you know, up and you was like, when you called me, it was like, man, bring your ass to the gym. I don't care. You told me that, I was like, yeah, Bill, right. Bro. I gotta get my ass up. Let me go say what's up to my bro. Hang with him, get on the gym, you know, then you had me here and then every day now I'm getting stronger and better. And, uh, and, and you, you know, you need people to, in your in your corner to help you up because like for me, bro, it's, it's an uphill battle. And sometimes, you know, when you get up a hill, you know, you get so tired, you just want to slide down for a minute. And then when you stop, all right, now I'm back, got my energy. That's how I felt at times. And for me, I've never been a quitter, so I don't know how to quit. And I never give up on anything.